Well, we're almost ready to install this piece of trim, and before we do, we're going to have to prepare it to go into the rough opening up there. It's not going to fit perfect, so it's going to have to be shimmed. Uh, I'm going to shim it before I actually you know, stick it in the rough opening up there. I'm going to have to because I've already put these uh, pieces of casing on. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that what I like to use to shim windows is this sign material. Uh, see garage sale signs and stuff printed on. Uh, it works really good for shims because it's, it's rigid, but it will compress a little bit if you need it to. And the way this is going to work is I'm just going to nail it, just, you know, pin nail it or something on the inside of this window jam and, uh, you know, on, on the bottom also. And I'll probably put a couple pieces around that arch and it'll be ready to go. At that point, when I take it up to the uh, window, if, if I've got it shimmed too much, I can just pull a piece off. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll keep on, keep on moving. I'm just gonna tack this in here. I've got two, two of those strips. I don't know the thickness of that, probably three-eighths or something, I don't know. Okay, so I'll go all the way around uh, the window and uh, then we'll be ready to put this thing in. Okay, we are ready to uh, put this piece of trim in this rough opening here. Before you do anything else, be sure to go around your uh, window and the rough framing and just kind of push some insulation in there. You get one chance to do that and that chance is now. So I guess without further ado, let's, uh, let's put this thing in. And that fits really good. Uh, those shims are snugging it up real good. Um, our reveal lines look pretty good. I do have one problem on this side of the trim. Um, that window actually has a little bit of a cup in it. And uh, it's actually, you know, convex, is that what that is? It's actually cupping to the outside and uh, it's leaving me about an eighth inch gap. There's not much I can do about it except just, you know, put a big righteous bead of caulk in there. So I have two inch uh, 18 gauge nails in the nailer and I guess it's time to nail that thing in place. Okay, I'm ready to hit it with a few of these nails. I'm not going to go crazy with it. I'm going to put, put a few in here. This is the side that's giving me some trouble. So I'm going to try to push it in place as much as I can. There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, I guess now all we have to do is build this skirt board right here and get it trimmed out. Then, uh, then we're, we're just about finished. Man, we're getting really close. We're almost finished. Uh, a couple of finishing touches, details that we're going to do. Right through here, we're going to put a skirt board. And uh, it'll just kind of hide all that mess right up in here. And the width of the skirt board is just from one edge of the casing 
to the other. I think that's 29 and three quarter on this window. So I'm gonna lay it in and get her all good and lined up. That looks good. I'm gonna to try to nail it a little bit high because we're gonna come in here with a piece of cove. That grabbed. Okay, last thing we have to do, I'm gonna come in here with a piece of cove. I guess you could stop right here if you wanted to, but I'm gonna put a piece of cove in and uh, hit it with a pin nailer. I've already got the cove cut out. Let me go get it, be back in a second. Okay, let's put this piece of cove in. I've already p attached this miter return here just to give me something to line up with. And if you notice, our cove perfectly covers up the uh, nail holes on that skirt board. So that's really good. So that's lining up. I'm gonna take the other piece just to kind of make sure that we're lining up just right, and we are. So this thing is ready to nail. Put this end piece in. And we are done. Let me move the camera around so you can see the window and I'll have some closing thoughts on this project. Well, there's our window. We are essentially done. I need to go, go back and uh, fill in some nail holes and uh, you know put a bead of caulk or two and touch up some paint. but but it's done and I am tickled to death with how it turned out. I couldn't be more pleased. You know, this whole time I'd been worried about uh, building this arch and I thought it was gonna be a real pain, but to tell you the truth, it, there wasn't nothing to it. it this, this window wasn't any more complicated than any of the others that I've built. Maybe a couple of angles or two that I had to figure out, but you know, the way we took that PVC board and curved it and put heat on it and bent it around the template worked, just worked perfect uh, you know the, the board took the bend it didn't try to spring back uh, the way I shimmed the window with uh, that sign material you know went in really snug tighter than Dick's hat band and uh, it ended up all my reveal lines look real good the way that I wanted them to and tickled to death I mean this is something that we built in our shop with our own hands with our own tools it's not people's republic stuff and we can be really proud of it I have one more window like this that I need to install. I've actually already built it. I built them both at the same time. But before I do anything else, I'm going to go change the battery in that smoke detector. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave me some comments. I'll be posting more soon. Thanks for watching.